on June 13, 2002, the U.S. Navy and the Missile Defense Agency completed their second successful intercept of a ballistic missile from the sea. A test target vehicle, TTV, was launched from the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. The target flew a nominal trajectory and achieved an altitude of over 315 kilometers. On board USS Lake Erie, the Aegis weapon system detected and immediately transitioned to track as the target broke the radar horizon. Eight, Approximately seven, six minutes six, after target launch, USS Lake Erie launched away. the standard Nine. missile three. The missile completed Mark 72 booster burn and separation, followed by Mark 104 dual thrust rocket motor burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the target throughout most of its flight. After Mark 104 separation, the Mark 136 third stage rocket motor, or TISRA, ignited propelling the SM-3 up out of the atmosphere and into space. The velocity, direction, and control were provided by thrust vector control and an attitude control system. After the first pulse of the TISRIM, the missile pitched over, ejected the nose cone, exposing the SM-3 kinetic warhead, and pitched back toward the target vehicle. Then, the second TISRIM pulse was ignited. After burnout, the SM-3KW performed IR secret calibration against a cold space background. The third stage then pointed towards the target, and the KW was ejected. The KW acquired the target in its field of view and began tracking and divert maneuvers. As the KW neared the intercept, the target image grew in the field of view. The FM-3 test achieved its primary test objective, a direct hit. The energy from the impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules, the equivalent of a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour. This is the intercept as seen from cameras observing the hit. Aegis weapon system and range radars confirm a direct hit. Splash one ballistic missile target. This is the second successful intercept for the Aegis Leap Intercept Flight Test Project. It paves the way for the eventual deployment of an Aegis ballistic missile defense capability urgently needed by our friends, allies.